Okay, another opponent, just over a thousand MMR. And I still keep losing to these people. So I guess maybe uh, all this time my MMR had been horrifyingly inflated and I have been completely out of any reasonable, uh, how should you put this, skill area that I was in previously. I have been completely overestimating my own skill. Maybe I'm just, like I had hoped to be high in skill based on how quickly I've been climbing, but maybe I just got super lucky and stuff. Anyway, this is not a unit composition that I enjoy a lot, in all honesty. I am I know that many people like fangs. I don't like them. I really don't. What is he? He is aerial specialist, so I'm almost expecting a bunch of phoenixes or wasps dropping this turn. That said, I do have a bit of anti-air in my fangs. I don't expect them to even survive, but hey. Okay, no turn one air shenanigans like I like to do. We both have sledges, crawlers, and he's going in for more crawlers. Now I'm actually liking my chances. If we went in on something decent like arc lights, in this scenario at least decent, I think overall arc lights, even after the most recent buff, which increased their rate of attack, they are still not that incredibly good, but uh, they certainly got better. So yeah, uh, his chaff is already gone, and we are basically even on tanks and tank health and everything. So I would be surprised if I lose this. It's just going to take a while because, you know, tank battles. They take almost forever. There have been a couple of situations where tanks were just, you know, crossing from here to here and the other tank set was crossing from here to here because one person won this side, one person won that side, and before they can annihilate each other in the middle, the timer runs out. So, um, no. Like, the answer is no. Could go into Phoenixes, but going into Phoenixes against Aerial Spec is not exactly the best setup, I think. So what I think I will do is instead go into Marksman here. I think I will buy two sets of Marksmen. And then mass recruit myself another set of Fangs to make it symmetrical. As I've seen before, Fangs, if you give them shields, suddenly are super high quality chef. I should put this far enough behind so that if he does throw a missile, and I wouldn't be surprised if he do, does indeed, it doesn't immediately annihilate everything I have. Is this the correct distance? Should be. Do I want an upgrade? now? I think I want the flexibility. Like, ooh. Well. Here come the Wraiths. And he does have the same set of upgrades that I do. Which kind of is cool. Because it means that, yeah. What you have is actually pretty decent. Or rather, more people agree on that it is decent. And that is good to see. Good to know. Uh, I don't think one marksman can deal with this. But it is locking on immediately because his wave is a bit too far forward. So maybe one marksman can deal with this. And I will be winning this side again. I still am not optimistic because everything else is breaking through. If you can get two more shots off... I... Ooh, he made it. This marksman is MVP. He did go down in the end. But he is MVP this time around. And I'm not entirely sure I like my chance because the marksman is getting swarmed. Yeah, I think I'm going to lose this fight, but close. Close for tanks, anyway. If one person has, like, one tank more than you do, then you can expect them to survive with half of them, it feels, sometimes. Um, yeah. I don't think I want any of that. Should I go into tank upgrades? Maybe, and maybe no. You probably need some stuff here in front. But I generally think that uh, switching into marksman at that point was a very decent choice. My front line needs to last longer. 
and lasting long against wraiths is actually difficult because wraiths annihilate a lot of stuff. I think Vulcan is a good choice at this point. And I want it to be opposite to the tanks so that it can roast the chaff here more easily. And then I just mass recruit myself two more marksmen. He might try a wraith on the other side as well. And I'm going to split that off like... Still want it a bit further behind so it doesn't get missiled. Uh, and now I realize that I put this marksman too far forward. But maybe that was a good thing last turn. Ah, I hate acid. Hate it, hate it, hate it. So yeah, there is a wraith uh, on the other side as well. Which means that these marksmen here were a good investment, I hope. This is going to clear our chaff so freaking efficiently. And uh, now there is hopefully a few, uh, few enemies left that will keep the wraiths alive. Chaff on the other side has not nearly been eradicated quickly enough. But, uh, yeah, I'm... It's enough. There's enough tanks left, though. Yeah... I'm actually not even sure who wins that fight. <laughs> it may just run out the timer. And again, there's only one tank left, and uh, okay. The Vulcan actually came in just in time. How very nice. Not like he has the greatest damage, so let's throw a shield down. And upgrade these. They have served it. Or they are deserving it. Drop that one down. Put it on the other side. In the same way. Do I want to get something else here? Not necessarily just yet. I think just delayed crawlers. Just delay crawlers and then get a health upgrade, I'm thinking. That my units can last a tiny bit longer. Oh, he's going in for overlords. Now that I already am getting marksmen and everything, I'm not sure and definitely not convinced this is the right choice. Also, now that he has wraiths, with range, I'm starting to think about upgrading my sledges and give, getting them range. Because then his sledges are going to be in all sorts of trouble. Because they are getting outranged. His chaff is already being cleared, for the most part. Which means that uh, he probably has to go into range on his tanks and that will expose his wraith. Let's see how this fight ends. It should be protected here for a bit. And let's see if that's going to be enough, because Overlords do a good amount of DPS. I expect to win the other side pretty handsomely, though. So, yeah. Uh, Chaff has been successfully cleared. Only the air units here remain. Vulcan is tanking. As I had hoped. And I don't... I think my opponent has what it takes. To well, then again, if the marksmen on their own keep going forward, yeah, then this was terrible. This was the worst engagement that I could have gotten, and I got the worst engagement possible. This sucks. But some of these things are just out of your control, more or less. Ah, this sucks. It, it was a terrible engagement, in all honesty.